Hello, hello, bitte again. So, today we make the video, which I promised you last time when we made the video Fine Tuner Matters, um, that we listen to the sound before, and then we take it off, and then we hear again. So we really hear the difference, and then we can make a small conclusion. And in order that it's not only master violin, and, uh, and you will say at home, ah, you know, but with my violin, which is a lousy, don't hear the difference, I thought, my master, Linea Maki and Scala Perfetta, my three level of instruments which I usually produce here in my workshop, okay? So now, just to make it easy, we have the Wittner Fine Tuner on all instruments, no carbon and no uh, titanium and all that, okay? I just picked out the instruments which are easy to compare. This is Stradivari, this is also Stradivari, and my violin here is a... Um, Guarnieri, Lord Wilton, and also it's a, what is it, this is also, yes, it's a boxwood fitting from Bogaro Clemente. So, now we get it played by Ayon, very short, she doesn't have to play any concert, anything. Then I take them off, we put it on again, it's a little bit, a little bit more difficult to tune the instruments without fine tuner, obviously and then we listen again to the instruments and then we just know and I won't make any conclusions, you just can listen to it and I just say bye bye at the end of the video and you leave your conclusion, what you listen, just down below. Done deal? Done deal. Let's get started. Okay. As promised, I don't say a word, no, um, to the result, actually I can't uh, not make a comment on that one, since this was actually very interesting, three different uh, instruments, three different sounds actually, uh, Scala Perfetta was the first one, is a little bit tight, strong and very projecting, let's say, to be nice, uh, by taking off the uh, fine tuner, actually it was freer, but since it is so uh, tight, it became even more, so it, in a certain way it amplified its beauty. 
Linia Maki was the one which over all four strings actually had most advantage of without a uh, fine tuner. It was definitely the one which uh, had most benefit of this. And my master violin, I was actually surprised. I would have thought that it would be same as on the Linia Maki. Uh, I think on the E string, yeah. It was nice, it was as nice as before. I love it, my violin certainly is the best. But the most benefit actually was on the G string and actually on, on, on all lower strings. There was a lot of benefit. So, uh, generally talking, it, I think it's, it matched pretty much what I told you in the previous video, uh, fine tuner matters. Um, it doesn't mean that it has to be the best and the fine tuner is uh, you need it to uh, fine tune. Uh, so you didn't see how we were troubling to uh, tune now the in string. Uh, so it's certainly better having a fine tuner, but it's on every in single instrument it's doing something a little bit different and that's very interesting. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and you leave your comment as well down below. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye bye, ciao ciao, ciao.